Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Demo. Today I will be demonstrating um, Beasts of Tamriel by Spike Dragonlord and Jay Boyd, along with the help of Rusty Shackleford 69 and Opius Glass. Now Opius Glass is the one who originally created the script um, removal script for um, Skyrim Special Edition, and now he has helped out the team with creating an MCM menu for uh, Beasts of Tamriel. You can now officially load it up on your Skyrim Special Edition as long as you have SKS64 installed with SkyUI 5.1 uh, converted. So um, I will uh, go ahead and I'm going to show you today what you will need. So uh, on your mod list, you're going to need 5.1. This is one I converted myself. I make sure that the uh, interface and everything is loose and that way this has been uh, put into the creation kit. You will also need the disable file. You can literally look this up and put special edition and you will find it. This will keep the Sky UI from crashing. You will also need Sky uh, SKC 64 version uh, 2.02. .02. This is the cleanest version and the, and the most up to date version for uh, Beast of Tamriel. Now you, I have left on here, you can use the loose version if you choose to, or you can use the uh, VSA version. Either one works. The choice is up to you. I will be using Nexus Mod Manager uh, Organizer 2 uh, for this, uh, on this, um, on this mod demo. And you can find Mod Organizer 2 on GitHub. Now, uh, now, right now, the version has been taken down on uh, Nexus. I don't know why, probably because there's, they're probably, it's probably being worked on. But for now, you can, you can find it on GitHub. All right, everyone, so let's get started. We're going to go ahead and load up Beast of Tamriel, and I'll show you how to use it. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and show you how to basically how the Beast of Tamriel work. So we're going to, we're going to click our, our character. And the reason we're using an Argonian is because we're going to be checking out the waters. So the first thing you're going to see is you notice on the right-hand corner that it loads up the, um, the two menus. Give it a moment, it'll load up a third one. Yep, there it goes. So you're going to want to use the Beast of Tamriel. You're going to make sure you have the Sky UI um, converted or Sky UI beta installed uh, along with SKSC64. Now, if you're not using SKS64, you will basically use the creatures from here. So you'll click on your uh, in your inventory and you'll find it there under your magic and, and your spells. And you'll basically click whatever creatures you want to basically remove. So Ox, you can restore, turn off toggle. Yes, is, uh, it tells you right here how to turn the Ox off. I'm going to cancel that. Same with the Wild Ram. And just kind of go through, go through go through the steps. All right, so now we're not going to use this one. We're going to use the MCM menu. Now, once you use the MCM menu um, for Sky UI, it will disappear. So be warned. Once we get this set, this will actually disappear once we're done. All right, so we're going to we're going to load up the MCM menu. Be the rail. Go here, and you can just go down and kind of just decide what you want. What, you know what animals you want, which ones you don't. Um, you can go ahead and click on them. I just each one you don't want to put in there. Birds, you know, sea creatures, and then you have insects. Monsters. All that fun stuff, so as you can see here. Giants. Chimeras. Skeletons, all that fun stuff. So as you can see, you have all the bone lore, the giant skeleton, all that fun stuff in here. Were creatures, I'm going to turn off mammoths because, in all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of the were mammoth. All the other, other, all the other creatures make sense. They are, they're all part of the lore except for the were mammoth. All right, so, well, hopefully. <laughs> and then uh, you can do the dragon spawners if you want. So you can turn these off on the level list. So we're going to get out of there. You won't be able to open the configure menu again until splice is completed. All right, so give it a moment as it does its thing. So those are the monsters we have, the ones we did. So we're gonna go ahead. Right now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go load the uh, load the game, and I'll we'll show you some pictures from from that. Okay.
All right, everyone. I want to thank you for being part of my mod demo. I hope you'll enjoy looking at the cool, the cool creatures and all the setups with the Beast of Tamriel that we were able to see. Now, don't worry. There's plenty more you can check out as you play the game. I hope you enjoy your uh, our time here. Once again, if you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like my videos, please go ahead and, and like and share with your friends. My name's Tony Belay. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time. All right, everyone. Thank, I'd like to thank you for checking out my video. Um, if you guys, I hope you, you like the, the I hope you like the, I hope you like the, the demo. Uh, if you guys like Beast of Tamriel, please go ahead and endorse it. Please give uh, that, that ends up helping give, that ends up helping Spike Dragon Lord, uh, Jody Boy Four, Rusty Shackle Sixty Sixty Nine, and uh, Opie's Glass. A uh, huge huge favor by saying thank you to them by giving them endorsement. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like, share with your friends. If you like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.